Questions 102 to 103 in the ASA green paper. Question 102, for the change that occurs when steam condenses, uh, we've got to figure out the change in S and change in H values. So when steam goes and condenses, it goes from really hot steam to a more cool liquid form. Essentially what we're saying is that we're losing heat in this process, so this is therefore an exothermic reaction. So the change in H is negative. Also when we're going from uh, steam into a condensed liquid, we're going from a uh, more disorder, disordered gas, to a less disordered liquid. So therefore our um, entropy is going down, where our, our randomness, our disorder is going down. So therefore our change in S is negative. So therefore for 102, the correct answer uh, is B. In question 103, we've got to figure out whether the reaction of the oxidation of mercury can proceed spontaneously. So a reaction will proceed spontaneously if the change in G slash gives free energy is negative, i.e. less than zero. So in this case, what we can say is um, our usual equation is this. Oops, sorry. So um, if we want this to proceed spontaneously, it needs to be less than zero. And therefore what we get is change in S times T times change, it must be greater than change in H. So we can just start subbing in some of our values now. So change in S is equal to negative 172, whilst change in H is equal to negative 91. So the one thing you've got to remember here is that um, if we want to figure out and just sorry, isolate T by itself by dividing across negative 172, when we divide by a negative number, we've got to flip this inequality sign. So we get 91 on 172. So therefore, um, G, if G is um, less than zero, gives free energy is negative, and therefore the reaction is spontaneous, then T must be less than this specific value. So um, the correct answer for 103 is D.